Hello, welcome to my channel. Another bibliophile reads. My name is Greg, and I am going to inter I am going to review the book Hawksmoor by Peter Ackroyd. Now, this was a novel that I read as a, a, a group read with um, Sandy at Miss Reads a Lot and Alice over at Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Now, this is sometimes called a postmodern novel. Um, that phrase carries a lot of baggage, and um, you can do a little bit of research on that baggage. Um, Noah at Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse recently did a video about postmodernist novels, um, and that's a very useful tool in analyzing what is or what is not postmodernism. Um, the author, Peter Ackroyd, did not call this a postmodern novel. Uh, I think I'm going to disagree with him, and I, I think it should be labeled in the postmodern category. So the, the basic premise of this book is that it's written in 12 chapters, and um, each chapter alternates. The first chapter is set in the 18th century, about 1710, around that area, and it features the architect called Nicholas Dreyer. And the language in this chapter is 18th century English. So a lot of the spelling is different. A lot of the grammar is different. Uh, the formations of the paragraphs are not standard modern English. Now, I have to say that I, I really love reading this. Um, I love that style of English. Um, I want to seek out more works written in that style, not necessarily modern works in an imitation of 18th century English, but um, actual 18th century English as it was written back then. Um, unfortunately, most modern books um, modernize the, the language and the spelling. So I'll have to seek that out. Well, anyway, Nicholas Dreyer is an architect and he has been hired to build seven churches. And um, this architect is basically a Satanist. And he, he comes to the idea that each of these churches must have a human sacrifice to um, fully initiate or complete the building. Now, um, I'm going to put the book down. This, the churches are historical. They were built. Um, they're built by an architect named Nicholas Hawksmoor. Um, it's doubtful that there was actual human sacrifices built in the authentic churches, that it's a fiction that the uh, author Nicholas Ackroyd has created. However, it, it becomes very interesting because at the end of chapter one, and this is not a huge spoiler because it's only chapter one, a boy named Tom dies by falling off the church. And uh, Nicholas Dreyer uses that as his human sacrifice. In chapter two, you are introduced to a modern boy, um, probably somewhere in the mid 80s when this book was written and published. And he has this sort of um, interaction with the church. And uh, not to get too far into it, but um, an accident with this boy occurs. And the boy's name is also Tom, the same name as the boy who died in chapter one. Going back to chapter three, you return to Nicholas Dreyer and you get a, uh, another death with a man named Ned. In chapter three, you meet a homeless man named Ned. So you go back and forth between these, these historical chapters written in the 18th century English and the modern chapters written in normal modern English. And it goes back and forth that way. Um, that goes back on for six chapters until you reach part two. In part two, you are introduced not to victims in the modern day, but a detective named Nicholas Hawksmoor. Now you have to notice the play on um, names here. Most of the characters are named Nicholas. In real life, the architect was Nicholas Hawksmoor, and in the, the modern day, it's Nicholas Hawksmoor. 
So they, they sort of trading off. And you go back and trade off again with the detective trying to solve real life murders or deaths in the same churches where um, the architects sacrificed humans. And it's very mysterious because the killer is not leaving any physical traces of his presence. So they don't know exactly how he's doing this. <laughs> See, <coughs> pardon me. So then it goes forth, and I'm not gonna go any more with the plot other than it's a mystery on its surface. I cannot recommend this book as a mystery novel because solving the mystery, having the detective find clues and finding out who the killer is, is not really what this novel is about. It is about the play between images and characters over time. And that's why I think it is a postmodern novel. Now, Sandy and um, Alice and I both are very puzzled at the end of this book. I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but it ends very ambiguously. I even found a professional review on this book and the reviewer says, yeah, I'm kind of confused about how this book ends. But I've been thinking about that over a couple of days and I'm coming to the conclusion that this book ended exactly the way the author intended it to end. And he is not intending to give you that satisfaction of a neat wrap up. And there's a lot of probably a lot, probably a lot of clues that I have not picked up in these texts. They said that there, there's, there's lots of interplay between the two times. Every time has these little sing-song rhymes that characters mention. And even in one case, there is a play within this novel. And it's not a very long play. It's like five or six pages, maybe a little bit longer than that. But you don't often encounter drama within a novel. Again, that is something a postmodernist would very much like to do in a novel. So I can very much recommend this book to people who like postmodernist writing or novels in the postmodernist tradition. Um, it's very vibrant in its language, um, but you don't get a whole lot of resolution in the end. Um, the reader can bring resolution to the novel, I think. Um, I, I, I sort of have an idea where the author was going and um, it's just for the satisfaction of the reader. So here it is, Hawksmoor by Peter Aykroyd. Um, I have to say this was a very good novel to do as a buddy read, um, just because it's fun to comment on this novel as I was reading it. Um, we started off reading one chapter a day and we go, oh, that was kind of interesting what happened in this chapter. And then in chapter two, I was very confident that like uh, one of the other members of Sandy really liked the character of Tommy. And it's coming back modern day. Where's Tommy? Did he die? You're not gonna find out that until much later in the book. So do not read this as a genre novel. Um, it, it, do not even read this as a plot driven novel. This is a novel that you dive into and explore. Um, one of the comments in the Voxer group was, I really felt like I should be taking notes when I'm reading this and going back over the notes and see how they compare between the, the, the two timelines. I didn't do that, but maybe I should have done that. Well, anyway, that is Hawksmoor. Um, give it a, a read if you like this kind of novel. Thank you for watching and have a very good day. Goodbye.